Let's go through the house. The house have two entrances. Here the bigger one, as you see, was meant to be used with the cattle horses uh, when they were using the wagon. But uh, when the people were dressed nice for the church, for the uh, pub, for, for, uh, to go to the town, they were clean. They were using this entrance called Hauschet. And down, the bigger entrance, it's Dvorna Vrata. Here you clean the, your shoes you have. That's made by the leaves of the corn. The people still do such a things. The leaves of the corn are used for different products. Also for the shoes. Now here we are on the gang. Here is the main entrance to the house. This would be called today, we used to say it kablenik, because this is cabled where the water is. Kablenik means today's words uh, bathroom. The people washed here, the men supposed to uh, shave here as well. Yeah? And then they started to shave. I will not do that for you. Uh, the house, the entrance to the house is, uh, this house supposed to be the bigger one in the village. It means the owner was the rich one. Uh, to the entrance uh, we come to the kitchen, which was the black kitchen, with the open fire. Now it is not reconstructed that way. And then we have on the left side Zadnya Hija, or sleeping room. And the uh, Perva Hija, it means uh, living room, which was used for the living of the people through the day, but of course, because the family was big, used also for the, as a sleeping room during the night. Let's go inside. Not all the products are old, a few hundred years, because we are doing a lot of projects on the flex production, we try to do it old-fashioned way, with old equipment, with renewed, but we try to find the use of the flex, not only for the traditional clothes, also for the modern clothes for the future. So we are looking for new perspectives for our people here to do something uh, special with old-fashioned materials. This was the kitchen with open fire here. Here is the oven. Uh, the, these two places, the uh, first house, the Perva Hija and uh, the kitchen was heated, but the Zadnya Hija was not heated. They didn't use any heat uh, because uh, the room is smaller and downstairs there was the stable. So the heat was coming from the bottom up to here and it was used uh, just that. Two beds for the old master and uh, the, the the lord and the lady. Uh, as you see, all the materials are traditional: linen, uh, flex, uh, wool, leather, and so on. Uh, in the roof, in the bed, you can see it's also leaves of the corn used as a mattress. It's very nice to sleep here. But now we used modern materials, yeah? That was in the old time used. It's the same with the other. See, here we can see some uh, equipment from those time. Uh, here are the presents of the citizen of the village, which help us to reconstruct the house and either loan us or, or, or give us as a present those different clothes and different things here in the, the room. Here we can see perhaps also the special table which was used uh, with the family to eat here or the uh, mother of the family would cook here. It's special uh, 
table it was used to make the bread inside yeah and then they use it as a table for to eat the family here it's also used because we are having a lot of turrets here it's used for that purpose it means uh, uh, we exposed here some uh, valuable documents uh, very old hundred years and more old documents photographies and uh, some prospects from united states from canada and so on because more or less all the people uh, after the disease in 1893 uh, which hurt the vineyards very hard uh, lose the most of the incomes they left the Slovenia or Belakraina and travel uh, to the United States of America or Canada or Argentina to earn some money to survive about one-third of the people supposed to leave the Belakraina at that time some of them did come back successfully with the money some of them became poorer than they were and a lot of them were lost in the world somewhere statve or krosna the final to make the flex the linen uh, it was always very close to heating body you must be done where it's warm otherwise you cannot spin and make the, uh, the flex okay if you go outside during the rain the cattle and sheep must go on the pasture anyway and the shepherd helped himself with just such a raincoat during the rain good hat and such raincoat and you still be outside yeah At the end of the gunk, it's bathroom, it's toilet. Here was the place called uh, Kascha, storage for the uh, for the hay, barley, so on. Here in the old times, here was the place for the cattle, horses, sheep. It was the stable. Next to it, it was uh, the seller for the products, the potato, and so on, whatever the food which was produced here. On the other side, here was the place for the pigs and the chicken. Downstairs, you come to the cellar, the wine cellar. We are just in the reconstruction of it. You see, the barrels are outside and prepared to go again inside. And here, it was the hay track. It was the storage for the old equipment which needed for the work on the farm and of course the storage during the winter for the hay. And here of course when you see now this nice grass it was uh, a lot of manure during the time the farm was in use. Well, there was the stable, here was the stable for the pigs and from the kitchen and the toilet uh, come all the manure here in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's more or less all about the dwarf. Perhaps you can see just one interesting thing, because um, the people could not spend the money to buy on some products like sugar. If they were able to produce the honey with the bee, uh, they had sugar. Otherwise, they're supposed not to eat the sugar fruit. Uh, and this is the typical use the house which were used uh, for the keeping the uh, bees. Mm -hmm.